everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Excalibur Roundtable Tech Talk. I am Mike Fuson. We're continuing our discussion around CMDB. One of the other things that the CMDB can do for us is audit and compliance. If you're in an industry that has high regulatory requirements, the CMDB can help you and actually be a tool that you can use uh, to be able to ensure that you know where all your devices are. So in a number, a number of cases, in a number of industries, clients are required to report if a laptop seems to be MIA. Um, well, how do you determine if a laptop is MIA? You know, are you gonna run around the building? And especially now when you think about so much work, so many people are working from home, um, that a laptop isn't there. Well, take for example, if we were using device 42 to go ahead and scan all of our devices and give us details. What we have is we have a checkpoint as to the last time that our discovery tool, device 42, has seen that device. Now, if that device hasn't checked in for a period of time, and these are real solutions that we've put in to people's processes. When you really look at it as a governance and control process, um, if that device hasn't checked in, say, in the last 30 days, we flag it for review. Um, and you have a team that's looking for things in their dashboard, as an example, of devices that have popped up that are things they need to check in on. Um, and you can build exception processes where we know that that device may not check in very regularly because maybe it's in a secured location um, and it's not going to be able to be scanned. Um, but we have now an exception and control process, which in an audit process, we have had the exception approved and we know what the exception is. In other cases where the device has gone MIA, where it hasn't checked in, we now can investigate. And it's a small number of devices that we're investigating, possibly on a daily or weekly basis, but we're able to keep up with it. Otherwise, we may be in a position where we have to self-report or we have to do other things that are fiduciary uh, requirements or that are regulatory requirements when a device seems to go missing. Um, I think about a particular instance where um, uh, we as a consultant are issued a laptop by a client. Um, when the uh, engagement is over, we may, that laptop may be sent back in. The, every client has a little different set of rules. Maybe we hang on to it because we're expecting a secondary engagement. Or maybe if that engagement is not going to start for a particular period of time, the laptop has to be sent in and it will be reissued when we do need it. But that laptop gets sent back in and it may sit on someone's desk. They open it and they say, hey, yeah, we got it back. And then they get distracted and it just sits there. Now, all of a sudden, 30 days, 45 days go by and that laptop hasn't been um, checked back in. Um, it hasn't checked in with the uh, network or discovery tools um, and it hasn't been re-imaged. But our process and procedure from an audit and control perspective says that it should have been. So we can identify that that laptop isn't there um, leveraging our CMDB, possibly spin up a, a incident record, um, or if we're using some sort of uh, security module within our ITSM system, create a possible security incident, um, and dot tie that to a dashboard that a team can go track that situation down. Oh, here it is, and it's now been properly updated and is back in for re-imaging. And that keeps our CMDB clean and accurate. Stay with us as we continue to explore other ways that we can leverage things like Device 42 um, and processes and procedures to ensure accuracy within our CMDB.